In this video, I am going to discuss the equivalent values of dive parameters. So, in my video on dynamics of electric dive, I, ha I have explained that loads are coupled to the motor shaft through some gears, bell, etc. Okay, because of this, loads may have different speed, different type of motion, such as rotational and translational. And so we have to refer various parameters like moment of inertia and torque to the motor shaft. Let us see how this is done. Uh, consider this motor which is driving two load. Okay. Now this load is directly connected to the shaft of this motor and this one with some gear. Now this gear has n number of teeth and this one has n one number of teeth. Now suppose n is greater than n1 and uh, two loads are connected to this gear okay so uh, one is connected to this gear and other, another is connected to this gear so which one will have more speed now you can see that for one revolution of this gear this gear will undergo several revolution in the opposite direction so we can easily conclude that the speed of this uh, load connected to this gear will be high than this one okay so we can say a uh, speed is the inversely proportional to the number of teeth in the gears okay for this system therefore we can write that uh, omega m1 which is the speed of this load and omega m which is the speed of the motor sub and the speed of this load because the load is connected directly to the motor shaft will be equal to n by n1 and we can represent this ratio as a1 okay now as we want to refer this whole system to the motor shaft therefore let us take the equivalent moment of inertia of the whole system referred to the motor shaft to be z equivalent okay therefore the total kinetic energy of the system can be written as half of z equivalent omega m square okay and uh, that we have taken the speed to be omega m because we are referring all this to the motor shaft this uh, kinetic energy will be equal to the kinetic energy of the motor which will be half of moment of inertia of the motor which is the zm times speed of the motor omega m square plus the kinetic energy of this load which will be half of z naught omega m square plus kinetic energy of this load half of z1 omega m square now if we simplify this equation then we will get that z equivalent will be equal to zm plus z0 plus z1 into omega m1 m1 by omega m whole square we have divided the both side of the equation by half of omega m square okay now from here we can see that omega m1 by omega m is equal to a1 so we can write that z equivalent will be equal to zm plus z0 plus a1 square z1 now suppose that we have a system where there are um, m number of loads are connected through gear okay uh, like uh, z1 z2 Zm. These are the moment of inertia of those m load and uh, with gear ratio of a1, a2 and am. Now from this we can write that for that system the equivalent moment of inertia referred to the motor sub will be equal to Zm which is the moment of inertia of the motor plus Z0. All the Z0 which are directly connected to the motor sub. If there are uh, two uh, load which are connected directly to the motor shaft and their moment of inertia are 
Z01 and Z02 will write Z01 plus Z02 and then will write the moment of uh, inertia of the remaining load which are connected through gears like A1 square Z1 plus A2 square Z2 and so on okay now let us see how we can represent the equivalent torque of the system referred to the motor shaft uh, before that I want to clarify one thing that if instead of gears pull bell system is used then this n n1 will be replaced by their diameter the diameter of, of the pull is okay basically this uh, a1 a2 up to am these are the ratio of the load speed to the motor shaft speed okay now to find the equivalent torque we will consider the same system as before okay we all know that uh, power is equal to force time velocity so in rotational system it will be torque time speed, uh, rotational speed or omega okay now if the equivalent torque of the system referred to the motor shaft is t equivalent then uh, we can write that uh, the total power input to the uh, input to the load by this motor will be t equivalent times omega m this is equal to the power of this load power output to this load okay that is t l naught omega m plus power output to this load now suppose this load uh, the coupling between uh, this load and the motor has an efficiency of eta that is there is some loss of power in this transmission system therefore we can write that and uh, this will be equal to t l naught omega m plus l1 omega m1 divided by efficiency we have divide this term by efficiency if we simplify this equation that is if we divide this by omega m we will get that will be equal to not plus a1 by the s a1 is equal to omega m1 by omega m okay now this expression can be easily expanded to m number of uh, load as we have done in the before now all the derivations can be easily extended to a system which has both a linear as well as rotational motion now this load has a uh, linear motion which is connected to the motor shaft through some transmission system which convert this rotational motion to the linear motion and this load has a mass of m1 and velocity b1 ok now we have uh, replace this load by this one so if we do this analysis again then we have to just change this term We have to just change the change this term, so we can write that half of square equal to, equal to omega m square plus half of z naught omega m square plus the kinetic energy of this load, which will be equal to half of m one b one square as this as a linear motion ok now from this we can simplify the equivalent will be equal to j m plus j naught plus m1 e1 by omega m square now this uh, expression can be easily extended to this one we have to just replace this a1 a2 am 
by the ratio of velocity to the motor motor speed okay similarly the torque expression can also be derived for this we have to change this term okay so we can write t equivalent omega m will be equal to tl not omega m plus this torque will be replaced by this force f1 f1 and this omega m1 m1 will be replaced by velocity v1 v1 eta okay so we can simplify that torque equivalent will be not plus oh v1 by omega m okay that's it for today hope you have liked the video do share it among your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you